All right, Yellowstone. Kevin Costner's coming back. I need to get a little bit lower on here so I can get in the frame. All right, again, welcome back to Scotch Reviews. Today we're talking about Teleson. The first product we're going to talk about is the Teleson Rechargeable Selfie Stick. Make sure you look down below for a 5% coupon from Teleson and make sure you use my code to enter that in so you get the 5% off if you buy direct from Teleson. I'll leave the link down below. Check them out, see what it's about. If, if it's cheaper on Amazon, whatever, check both. Make sure you get the best deal. But that 5% off should help uh, direct from Teleson. So this is a Teleson rechargeable selfie stick. So basically what it is, it's a power bank and a selfie stick combined into one uh, with a USB-C outlet here, mainly built for your GoPro is what it's made for. But I like to use things on different objects. And the ZV-1F has a USB-C input. So I tried it on that and I did some videos outside of that. So we'll go ahead and watch that in a second. But let me run over the specs real quick in case you care what comes in the box, all that kind of stuff. Comes with the little GoPro mount here. Otherwise, it just has the typical quarter screw on top right there. Uh, it does have this adjustment here. So once you get your camera on, you don't have to turn it and turn it, turn it. You can just use this to help screw it down and get ready. Uh, you can also extend the stick out like that. So the cord's built in here. So of course the cord stretches out and you still have the cord up top. So you can still charge while it's fully extended. The button here on the side right there. The button's here, but the little light indicators are on the side right here. And then right next to the lights, you have to dig your finger in a little bit, which will un do this little flap right here. And that was where you plug in your USB-C to charge it back up. So it kind of protects it so it doesn't get, if it got splashed on, something like that, we won't get water inside that charging port. So that would help out with water resistance, that's what you could say. Light waterproof. Hmm, that's the first time I've ever heard. Light waterproof, what does that mean? And drip proof designed for small splashes of water and snowy conditions and dust proof so rain and snow so you could take it out um, skiing have this out as you're skiing if you fall into the snow you're going to fall if when you fall into the snow and get it covered in snow you can dust it off and it'll be fine because of the the coverings right here so that is a nice touch because they figure people that use gopros want to use it in an action environment so you need to be able to take some type of pounding of weather and stuff like that uh, it also comes with a quarter screw on the bottom. So if you want, want to add a tripod to the bottom and, and keep it stationary, you can do that. Inside the box, it comes with also a little thing for your phone, in case this, one, in case this could be your selfie stick for your phone. Uh, that's easily done. Um, put this on here, put in your phone, charge your phone. Now if it's Apple, of course, you got to find an adapter if you want to switch this around to get power. A, a GoPro screw and also where is it oh yeah here we go this is a door the door right here uh, for the gopro so you would take off your normal door and put on a telecin door that way you could do this and go ahead and plug in right there boom there you go and it should be it's powering up the gopro right now and it's starting to upload to the cloud because it thinks it's plugged in, which it is plugged in. So that, that keeps it out of the weather. So if you are using it uh, in, in like a, a splashable area on a boat, something like that, you can get wet. It'll take some wetness without freaking out. And some people buy this door separately on their own just to have a door like this with the ability to charge on the go. For five hours, this thing can go and record with a GoPro at 3K, 30 frames per second for five hours with this thing fully charged. So that's a lot of, it's a lot of recording on a GoPro. The extendable reach is 21 centimeters to 90 centimeters. So I'll let you do the math on that. So that's all I have from here from the studio. Let's go out in the field and show you real quick what it looks like using it with the ZV-1F. Um, and yeah, that's it. Like, subscribe for more. My next video will be another Telson product here shortly. Yeah, buddy. Charging and walking at the same time. 
Hey, welcome back. So out in the field, this is what it looks like. The UZ Telson selfie stick, rechargeable on the Sony ZV-1F. I had to do a little uh, finagling to get it on here, but it works out fine. But the main thing is that it is charging right now while it's filming. And this battery on the ZV-1F does not last. Both handheld, this has the 11 mil. This is 20 mil with active stabilization on. Sorry for party rocking. How's it sound? It's from four feet away. Move slow for this camera because it doesn't like jitters. The focusing is me questionable at best.